can create a nice smooth curve as shown here. Attaching the helical rim portion is now completed. Again, the template is used to check the accuracy. Attention is turned to the antihelix. Dr. Yamada is marking the incision design on the ninth costal cartilage. Again, it is important to preserve the natural smooth curve of the lateral aspect of the cartilage. The upper portion is split into two parts to create the superior and inferior crusts. This is the fabricated anti-helical portion that creates the superior crust down to the intertragal notch. Attaching the anti-helical portion begins from the superior crust. The superior crust portion is now attached to the base frame. It is important to curve the antitragal portion for the normal definition of the oracle. The attachment of the antitragal portion is now completed. Dr. Yamada is now moving on to the tragal portion. This demonstrates the way to attach the tragal portion to the base frame. The intertragal notch is another important anatomy located between the tragus and the antihelix. He is curving the intertragal notch with the curving knife. Attaching the tragal portion is now completed. The final process is to create the concha. A small piece of cartilage is fabricated into the Simba concha. Another small piece of cartilage was fabricated into the cavum concha. This is the completed three-dimensional ear framework. The framework is now placed into the skin pocket. The ear positioning template is then applied to decide the proper framework position. The outline of the helix is drawn to serve as a guide. Wound closure is started from the anterior lobule flap with 6-0 nylon. Temporary suction helps to check the definition of the oracle. The final step of wound closure is to trim the redundant skin. In this particular case, the excess skin was excised from the cavum concha. This is the final appearance of the first stage of total auricular reconstruction. All the anatomical features of the external ear were reconstructed. Despite the fact that she had an extremely small vestige, a conchal cavity was also reconstructed. This is the same patient six months after her first stage total ear reconstruction. This is an 11-year-old girl born with lobule-type microtia. Dr. Yamada did a two-stage total ear reconstruction for her. After two surgeries, she now has a new ear. Before surgery, she hid the ear sight with hair all the time. She no longer has to do that. She goes to school with a ponytail hairstyle. Nobody believes that her right ear was newly created. 
She can now wear a mask or a pair of glasses. This is another patient born with conchotype microtia. Dr. Yamada did a two-stage total ear reconstruction for him. After two surgeries, he has a new ear with full definition of the normal oracle. Symmetry of the ear position was achieved. He has short hair and he's not hiding his ear anymore. He's on his middle school's baseball team. He is proud to show his new ear to his classmates.